to Derek. I'm still a few days away from my period. I don't even know if I need a pregnancy test. There's nothing for me and you to talk about right now, so please just leave me be. I'm, I have a, a, a thing I need to work on for my classroom. Okay, well, I'm not calling to bother you. I'm not trying to bother you. Okay, but you are bothering me. I have a lot on my plate right now, and, um, again, we were on one date, Derek. I don't think it, we were safe the first time, and I don't think it warrants you being so obsessive about me possibly being pregnant. Like, I think we all need to not be paranoid about that. I know you're right. It's a little ridiculous to be thinking about this stuff, but I have a gut instinct. And I also read that after you give birth, your fertility's higher. Okay, I don't know where you read that, but that's not true whatsoever. People have a hard time conceiving after having a child. Uh, the only fact I know is that your, your, your chance of having twins after a miscarriage is higher. And I already had twins, vanishing twins. But, okay, what did you call me for? I called you today to tell you that I moved up as manager at my store and I'm making a lot more money. And like, I got a nicer apartment and I'm doing better now. Okay, do you want a cookie? Do you want a medal? I have cookies, but I don't have medals. I'm saying these things because now I'm in a better position to take care of the baby if you are pregnant. You know, I could take the baby off your hands, like I said, like before you probably thought I was full of it, but now I could really raise a baby by myself. Eric, honey, I'm not pregnant from one date. That's delusional. I was, personally, I was a little worried, but I got over it, okay? Manifesting and praying and everything. It's not happening. But second of all, sweetie, if you were in a movie with The Rock or you were um, an Olympic gold medalist, I still wouldn't just keep the baby for that reason, okay? It's, you can get your life together, and that's great for you. But still, my body, and I'm doing what I think is right. I'm not having another baby go to ACS, or I'm not just popping out a baby to give it to you. Look, I just really want to be a dad, okay? That's it. And you could possibly make that happen for me. Okay, well, um, I'm not the person to make you a dad. So, here's the thing. Whether I'm pregnant or not, you don't need to call me anymore because the outcome is going to be the same for you. You're not going to be a dad because I, I'm, I'm making my decision. I don't say this to agitate you or be mean or anything, but I don't think you're taking it into consideration that if you get pregnant, it's not going to be as easy as you think to stop being pregnant. I know you a little bit and I think you're going to get attached and you're going to have that baby because it's going to be too hard for you not to. I have to go. Nice speaking to you. I try to be better and everyone pushes me. I'm trying to be better and everyone is still pushing me.